Uh, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is Crew AI. I forked it from Juan de Moura, I believe is his name. I'm pretty sure he's Portuguese. Could be wrong. Uh, we're going to load up this uh, this particular GitHub repo directly into Visual Studio Code. Again, I've already forked the code, so I'm going to uh, use Visual Studio Code. I'm going to clone the Git repository. Let me zoom in here so you can see that clone Git repository clone from GitHub, and now I get the repo from here. And look at that, it's already picked it up. That's pretty clever. And I'm gonna drop it into my document folder, and I guess I should create, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna select as repository destination. Uh, yes. Okay, and let's just do a sanity check and see if it uh, popped it in the right directory. Uh, da, 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 um. Hmm. Ah, okay, let's try this. Reveal in File Explorer. Yeah, all right, so it did put it in the right directory. So we're good that way, and now... Uh, let's take the, take a quick look at the README. Uh, cutting edge, blah, blah, blah. Pip install crew AI. So what I will do, uh, um, I won't miss, actually, it doesn't matter. It's my file, so I'm going to um, create a Python environment, create... Python environment, and I can never remember the command. So we go to chat and uh, create Python environment. Okay, open the terminal, run the following command. All right, so actually this is funny because this is not the right command. Uh, it's actually Python without the three. And I'll go ahead and run that via PS uh, PowerShell. It's not going to work. I already know that. So I'm going to remove the three. And I'll save this. Copy, enter. And I'll go ahead and put that there. Yes. And now Python has to be activated. So I actually, once this is done, okay, it's now done. And uh, we'll go ahead and click that, run it, activate, copy that for my purposes, activate, and then over there, enter, 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 run. All right, so now it's, and now it's activated. So let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at the requirements file. I can close this. I can close this. Uh, what do we have for? Oh. Um, there is no requirements file. Uh, okay, let's see what it says here. Pip install and pip install DuckDuck search. Okay, so the requirements file doesn't appear to have been created. So let's uh, uh, let's create that requirements txt. And let's open up the README. So crew AI. And for the purpose of getting this demo running, we need DuckDuckGo search. And OS, but I don't think I need to install OS, but it's right there. Uh, 
Ta, 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 ta. Okay, that looks like it. Save that, Control S. I'm pretty sure I don't need OS, so I'm going to remove that. And let's open up our, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I have more space in my UR, user interface here. Terminal, new terminal. Uh, pip, I can never remember some of this stuff. Pip, install requirements. Yeah, okay, pip install r, copy that, paste it in here. That's not going to work. Pip pip, I don't think it will work. It sounds good in British English, but pip pip is probably not going to work. Control C on that. Ooh, really doesn't like it. Yeah, unknown command. Pip install requirements. And note, it, I am in the environment. No such file, ls. ls. Oh, right, because I'm in the wrong, the wrong folder. Crew AI, ls, right. Arrow up a couple times, pip install our requirements. That should work. All right, that's doing its thing. And so install, all right, uh, all right, it's doing something. So I'm going to copy this code here. And uh, prompts, process, tools, task, environment, agents. Uh, let's check to see the code, if it's referencing any imports. Okay, crew AI, agent, task, crew, process. Okay, so I need... I need the file to be inside the same document as crew. So that should work, all right? And uh, we'll give it the classic main.py name. Control V. And uh, this should be Um, that should work because I've already set my variables with open API key. So uh, CLS to clear, LS to see what's going on, control, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Control B to give me some more real estate here. L, okay, CLS, LS, main.py. All right, so maybe this works. We'll find out. Main.py, uh, let's just do a sanity check. What are we doing here? Search uh, cutting edge developments in travel and diet and data science. Um, bad English. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just run it, see what happens. Uh, make sure I save it too. Okay, let's see what happens.
open AI API key is not defined. All right, I'm going to pause for a moment and dig around in my code to find the correct answer. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, Crew AI, and I modified the code. I added this little bit here. Uh, and I added OpenAI to the to the search to the uh, to the file, and I'll go ahead and update the requirements. Okay, OpenAI. Uh, I have it installed. You may not. Okay, so we're good to go. Let me hide that. And where were we? We're about to run this. Uh, we're about to run this little tool. And so pi main, no, no, no. Arrow over to select it as opposed to tab. Enter. And now let's see what happens. Okay, so identify latest achievements in 2020. You'll need a duck, duck, go search tool. Okay. Um, all right, now action is duck, duck, go search. And He's using some kind of coloring tool for the output print result. I'm not quite sure how he's formatting. Ah, right. Okay. So that's all part of the output in these other tools. Um, Okay, I'm not really 100% sure what's happening. It's action input. Ah, okay, finish chain. Here it is. All right, so. Uh, oh. Three main trends. And now crew agent executor chain. I'm not quite sure where that is right now because that is part of these tools here. Agent base model, finish chain, unleash and create a potential, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's done. Okay, finish chain. And this is the output of the uh, of this particular agent or this particular series of agents. We have a researcher agent, a writer agent, and that was it. Actually, search. That's it. There's only two agents: researcher and writer. And then the tasks uh, with specific agents uh, specified uh, using the two agents that were identified previously and agent. And there is no, there's no, oh, there is a task.py. All right, uh, quite a bit going on here. Agent, task, crew, process. All right, and what does it generate? Generates, in this case, text. I'm sure if I dig around in the code here, I can figure out what other options I have in terms of outputting JSON or outputting .md or HTML or whatever else I'm looking for. Uh, 
Uh, all right, so it's generated a bunch of articles for me. Fabulous. All right, um, no links to support any of this um, of this blah blah blah. Maybe that's something that needs to be included with the uh, with the search tool. In that, I need to add a note saying. Uh, include the URLs from DuckDuck's Go Search Run, indicating where this stuff, uh, how this stuff is supported. But that being said, uh, Crew AI worked more or less right out of the box with just minor edits on my part to get uh, to get a more generic, or for me, uh, to get the OpenAI key working properly. All right, thanks for watching, and that's Crew AI. Check it out yourself, um, Crew AI, I believe, yeah, there it is. I believe it's Juan Madura, or Juan Madidmura. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy computing.